Well, hello everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, we have another storm blowing up, and after a hearty lunch, I'm going to go for a walk up on the common here in Dunwood, just to see if there's any subjects to paint at some later stage. Well, I'm actually in the wood, the wooded part of Gallywood Common, not far from the church, but the subjects that there are around here, and uh, I'm walking off my lovely steak and kidney pudding very nicely. The only problem is we've got a storm uh, coming, so um, I'm not going to hang about too long in amongst these trees. Let's see if we can pick up something else. I'm always interested in these lovely old oak trees. This one stands in the church churchyard here at Gallywood. And uh, not dissimilar to the shape uh, of my um, sunset demonstration with the oak tree I did at the Dunmo Art Group. Well, I've just arrived back in the studio and um, I did this little thumbnail sketch of the trees um, that I've been looking at up on Gallywood Common. So I'm just hardening up the edges um, and just put a little bit of colour in, I think. Well now I'm going to add colour. Now I'm looking at, I'm actually using the Windsor Blue there. Um, Prussian Blue, you could use Prussian Blue. And uh, just make, creating a quite a deep dark blue at the top and right hand corner. Now I'm adding a little bit of light red because I want the trees to have a bit of depth behind them. So it doesn't have to be, um, uh, you know, you can't just paint trees straight onto uh, distant land or, or um, um, you can start onto the sky, but I want a bit of, feel a bit of depth behind them. Now I'm adding cadmium yellow with a touch of burnt sienna in the foreground. Uh, so that's the basic uh, field really. And a little bit of hedging shown under the trees. Um, I always put a bit of brown with my yellows and you can see how lighter it dries. Now I'm using a bit of yellow with the uh, brown and a touch of blue there too. A bit of brown there uh, going in and creating, I've already created a depth when I did the sky. Now this is the middle distance depth. This is all the hedging behind the trees. Um, it's always important, as I say, even with a sketch, try and paint a sketch in a similar sort of manner that you would an ordinary, uh, you know, your full blown painting. Now I'm adding real uh, stronger burnt sienna for the foreground or middle distant hedging. So you can you see the depth you get there, sky, distance, middle distance and foreground land. Now I'm adding the trees. Now I'm using the same brush. I could have gone to a rigger for this, but this one points quite well. And it's only a sketch. I didn't want to take too much time on this. Um, I'm just trying to give an impression of these trees that I saw. And all the time I'm thinking about what, you know, these trees could go in any uh, landscape really. Um, not as they are, they could be part of a wider landscape or a study as I'm doing here. It's, um, you know, it's up to you. Now, uh, notice how I'm painting in the large trunk, the small, the, the, the larger branches, and then 
the smaller branches, but obviously the twig areas, you will never be able to pick up. Um, well, if you did try and pick up the very twiggy areas with the uh, rigger, it then gets rather fussy. You lose the sense of, um, um, well, you just lose the sense of a sketch, really. So I'm trying to put some in on the left-hand side of the trunk as well. Just try and, and you know, all the time, remember what you saw. And, uh, of course, sketching does help that. Now the tree behind the foreground tree, I've added a touch more blue to the mix and a touch more water because this tree really needs to be uh, less intense in colour because it sits behind that foreground tree. So, I'll, you know, I could have painted them both in the same uh, tone and colour, but they one stands in front of the other and by painting that a little bit less tone then that helps that uh, situation now what I've done I've used a, a, a brush to paint in the small twig areas now I'm adding a blue to the uh, uh, colors on the palette to create a shadow color which is light coming from the left creating a shadow across the right hand side of the um, uh, uh, coming from the, the left hand side, heading towards the right hand side of the foreground. Well, there you have it, a small thumbnail sketch produced after walking on Gallywood Common this afternoon. There you have it, a small thumbnail study um, after having a walk this afternoon. That could make up into a very nice full blown painting. Next Friday, I'll be showing you how I produced this full blown painting of trees uh, with a sunset and some hedging. Um, that taken really from that pencil sketch or inspired by that pencil sketch. So that will be my next week's um, watercolour demonstration. <laughs>